Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, courageous Lion Kingdom of our new Jerusalem on Earth. We are in the midst of a massive timeline shift and quantum leap of consciousness. We are merging, jumping, and aligning multiple timelines daily for the final emergence of the one true ascension timeline, for our full supernova breakthrough, zero point, and into the light. As Mother Earth continues to get flooded with gamma plasma waves of higher resonance, we experienced a major white wave and spike on the Schumann charts today at an amplitude of 42 hertz, fifth dimensional energetics flowing in. We are experiencing many time overlaps, dilations, anomalies, and bleed-throughs in the physical manifestation and in the astral and dream realms. We are rebirthing, remembering, and reintegrating all that was lost in the programs of false projections. We have come to find today the powerful M6.2 earthquake off the coast of Chile, South America yesterday evening at 2.24 UTC. The epicenter was very specifically located at latitude 37 and longitude 73. Very clearly, the Great Spirit encoded this activation with our 37 into the 73 code of heaven on earth. We truly are a hair's width away from our full new earth manifestation. As we reach the twelfth hour, we make that final step, which is our total quantum leap of faith, into the unknown of eternity, while staying grounded in this present moment in the space-time continuum. Through the shadow work and the dark nights of the soul, we are bringing back to our physical and energy bodies the fragmented pieces of our holistic spacesuits. We are holding the sacred space as we keep the light and continue to anchor in the highest love and light into the Elysium field of the Akash of Gaia. As we face the dark and open our hearts and minds in our infinite potentialities, we use our pure imaginations to co-create the heaven on earth, which is our divine birthrights. The best is yet to come, as our holy kingdom of God is at hand. As we merge the unconscious with the conscious, the physical with the non-physical, emptiness with form, we flow into divine union both within and without, for the internal mirrors the external, and the external mirrors the internal, and we come into the Heros Gamos as the eagle flies with the condor, Shakti dances with Shiva. In these final days of the old false world of suffering and separation, we ask you to keep holding the light, hold the line in the sands of time, and stay anchored into the crystalline core of Pachamama as our ascension now accelerates to goddess speed. The downward flow of water, the path of least resistance, is the quick, quick path. Allow the holy waters to carry you directly to source as you awaken from the dream realm to that which is real, beyond all illusions and delusions of Maya. Shalom in the covenant of light. Aho. Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul Whitegold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Catran. Full collapse of old Atlantis taking place. Anchoring new Atlantis as collective personal DNA activations continue as this current bandwidth requires full sovereignty embodiment. Galactic downloads, kundalini activations, high heart and crown openings. Divine feminine rising holding space as the divine masculine steps more into his power. Unification within and without, opening the gates for 1122. 
and from divine sister of the light, Tihana Sophia. Eons of time unraveling in the light of the conscious mind. Alleluia to a new earth and a new unified era. The reunification of all unconsciously held beliefs and timelines are propelling us into the consciousness and expression of our truest self. This 1111 portal has been massively potent in initiating the new unified timelines of divine love in and through the clearing and supreme activation of the higher heart. We are still going through this massive upgrade and the speed at which the unification for humanity is taking place continues to be stunning for me. How are you feeling? I am loving you all so much and I am so pleased with our heartfelt collective awakening. All my love, Tihana Sophia. From Divine Bro Thor of the Light, Pars Kute. We are now witnessing intense divine feminine energies as part of the timeline shift. Remember, the divine source acts more in feminine than masculine ways in nature. The first revealed itself as Divine Mother throughout all cosmic creation. Enjoy the powerful shift, dear ones. The timeline has now been altered. It has been altered to bring about the creation or to bring about the golden age that we are creating. And as we have heard many times, nothing now can stop this. So even those of the forces of the dark continue to move along and bring about what they think is their creation. It is not. It is not to be allowed. For the great central source of this universe has decreed that it shall not be allowed. That the experiment is at an end. And even though we may still see some of those remnants of the darkness continuing on, they are more and more fading into non-existence. So we continue to trust. Trust the divine plan. Trust in ourselves, the creator selves that we are, because that is what is writing the ship. We all have the power within us, the power that comes from the great central sun of this universe, from the divine source that is within all of us. It is now, and now is the moment, the moment that we have been waiting for, working toward for many thousands of years. Many, many lifetimes we have been working at this, coming to this point, this point in the expression of the universe. As the universe continues to expand more and more through us, through each and every one of us, we are that expansion. And the expansion is increasing and growing and moving from the third dimensional experience and expression into the fourth and the fifth. Some of us are in the fourth dimension and some of us are in the fifth dimension now. We are no longer in the third dimension. We do not think of ourselves in that third dimension anymore. We do not even announce it or even think in those thoughts, for the third dimension is not for us. It is for those that continue to hold in their sleep, that continue to not want the light. That is for them, and they will find that expression of a continued third dimension but because of who we are and the expression of what we bring here to this planet, to this experience, it is because of us that so many more across the planet are in that awakening stage right now in this moment. And the events are coming. The events that will catapult the momentum that is moving closer and closer to that finish line that Sananda is so famous for speaking of. We continue to trust. Trust in ourselves Trust in the universal plan and continue to be those watchers, those ones that observe from afar. But yet whenever the moment arises, we are the ones that spring into action and bring our truth forward. And there are many now that are clamoring for that truth. They are clamoring to reach into the light. And even some of those that hold on to the darkness, even some of them will reach to the light as well. We are now staying in peace and love and oneness, that we would continue to be the warriors of divine light that we are. Within divine love of one, Pars Kute. From divine sister of the light, Ali Ray, every heart is a bloom, at its perfect pace and in divine timing. There is no thing, nothing to do. 
like a flower in its glorious surrender to its blooming process, we too can simply be still and allow it to occur. Breathe easy, beloveds, all is truly, truly well. You are right where you need to be in this now, and all that is occurring for you is assisting your blooming. I so love you. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from divine sistar of the light, Akash Ra, as you're right. New high alchemy curriculum coming in as all quantum shifts to new mission passageways. The divine high phoenix priestess of the solar Ra light pathways. New solar sun Ra light diamond energy matrix systems technology. We are training the divine high priestess of the Ra lineages. The Christed Crystalline Diamond Consciousness of the Sophia Ra Priestess Goddesshood. Ceres Ra Golden Lineages of the Sophia Diamond Ra Energy Systems. New Inner Temple Ancient Ra Source Solar Light Technology Training. Inner Temple Ancient Gatekeepers Training. Cosmic Shamanism Training. Divine High Alchemy Sacred Planetary Magic High Alchemy of Siren Training Return of the High Priestess of the Solar Ra Phoenix Inner Temple Training Awakening Launching soon as all comes available through Quantum Light and Coded Templates And from Divine Sistar of the Light Maria Stani Marova the Earth is approaching the first wave of ascension to the fifth dimension event. Dear Earthlings and beloved star seeds, stories of their value will be told forever. Planet Earth is approaching the first wave of ascension in the fifth density. We did it. All the blood, sweat, and tears finally paid off. We're at the end of the night. The clock is about to strike. We did the impossible. Our brothers and sisters look up to us in deep admiration. In future shows, we will explain the major change in the physical level and give more instructions on the sequence of events in the best way possible, how to prepare properly. This is a sneak peek of what they showed me, what we would experience during the first transition. This will be the first of three powerful waves of light. The third is the conclusion of the ascension of the entire collective into the fifth density. A density is a separate reality, a separate tone in harmonics. There are many dimensions within each density that can exist simultaneously, reflecting the vibration of your being. You are in density, perceiving a certain dimension, and this is exceptional to your current state of consciousness. Between each density there are walls of light designed to protect power and knowledge from malicious beings. The poles are splitting up right now. This is an urgent sign that the magnetosphere is weakening, getting closer to turning the poles. Over the next few days or weeks we'll experience the climb of the first 144,000, maybe a lot more so. We will all experience different perceptions of the same reality. In the days leading up to the first solar wave, there will be clear instructions on how things will unfold. The moment the solar wave touches Earth, it will enter a zero electromagnetic zone, disrupting its own rotational movement. Those awake will see a huge mass of golden plasma coming, first at a low speed, then accelerating as it approaches. So if you press the magnetosphere, you'll get purple, blue, green, pink, and many other shades of colors you've never seen in any of your 3D experiences. It will swallow the entire planet in 10 to 20 seconds. When plasma touches each of us, we will all have a unique and unimaginable union of bliss with Source. You are all individually created for each of your own unique and personal peaks. Imagine reaching the top, not only encountering Source, but remembering in a blink of an eye thousands if not billions of lives, not only on earth, for the liberation of mankind, but all those that live in different star systems and galaxies, and even in different universes in some cases. Everyone will receive the level of activation of their DNA in proportion to their own experience and wisdom. Time will stop because it will pass and 
just less than a second, and even then you will feel that it has gone on so long that you almost forget your life on earth. You will forget you are still here on earth. The intensity will be such that it will be a full death experience. The epiphany gland will secrete a large amount of DMT, dimethyltryptamine. You will see it all and you will know it all that will change forever. Returning to his body, he will notice that you can see with your eyes closed. You will always feel that abundance of oneness. Then you will open your eyes and everything will change. Your body will be one meter higher. Your skin will radiate light with a more golden hue. You will be so light weighing about 10 kilograms and you will be able to jump a few meters with ease, run faster than a horse and be stronger than a gorilla. And so the evacuation begins. With love, light, and gratitude, Maria. And from Ascension Lightworkers, Ascension Energy Update, the energies are still intense, and you'll be pushed to release any residue of outdated pain and past attachments. Shadows will come up for you to accept parts that have been rejected by us as well. The mother wound might also be coming up to be healed, not just for you, but for all of us. Hold space, for as you heal, so do we. Inner child memories may also be stirring up from within. This is to be healed as well. Specific memories that have created trauma and pain. Realizing now you are much stronger and more powerful than you give yourself credit for. The universe has been showing us a greater divide in the collective for quite some time now. It's reminding us not to engage with the lower dimensional behaviors. Acknowledge it for what it is, projection, ego, and unhealed wounds. Stay on your path, keep moving forward so you don't invite the past back in. The message for us is to stay on track. The old path had you sabotaging yourself. It had your mind playing games with you. It had you telling yourself you weren't enough. Now look at you and how much you have transitioned and transformed creating your own path because the old one is no longer a match. You refuse to maintain the status quo. You're moving away from the conditioning and closer to the connection with your higher self. Your mind is now working in your favor. It's building you up. Your energy is locking into the abundance and good health flow. Stop focusing so much on the outcomes and remain grounded in all your changes. The results will pour in naturally. They have already started to. Lessons have been integrated. Your soul is unlocking codes and upgrading, awakening you to remembrance of your divine birthright. Stay grounded as you shift to a higher vibration because it will feel fluid, unknown, and your emotions will feel chaotic. Self-love and self-care will nurture your being during these cycles of ascension. It can at times feel as though all hell is breaking loose and everything seems to be going wrong. You are leaping forward and as you do, this reality then shifts. Therefore, be at ease, align with the shift rather than resist. Remember only better things await you on this next stage in your new chapter. The light has been fully anchoring within you. This process has been unfolding long before you have awakened to it. What happens next is the experience of what opens up in your world when you use what you know for the collective highest good. Be thankful for closed doors. They often guide us to the right one. The only thing that is ultimately real about your journey is the step that you are taking at this moment as that's all there ever is. Infinite love, light, and blessings, Ascension Lightworkers. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sandra Walter. Blessings, beloveds, here we glow. After the deep purge of the Eclipse Passageway, we find ourselves entering a fresh Stargate alignment. More expansion, keep going, it doesn't slow down. And new sensations activating our crystalline senses. If you witness the Eclipse, you may have noticed the Freedom Codes flowing with a mystical quality. Like watching the reality shift from many multidimensional angles, a true heart opener. As I watched the eclipse, I remembered our crystalline convergence group watching the last eclipse in May, unified in silence together on the red rocks. The sensation of unity was just as strong this week, 
all of us ushering in new states of consciousness together. Most eclipse passages are both an opportunity and preparation, the shedding of the old and purification through interdimensional energies. Resolution opens doorways for revelation of the new heart, the higher functions of the crystalline solar gateways within. November stargate alignments benefit both Gaia and our crystalline solar hearts. Gaia's crystalline core is entering a new phase of birthing her star-like qualities. This changes the experience of anyone with activated crystalline structures, a coherent diamond solar heart, and activated crystalline DNA, to exist in the new realms of Gaia which operate like a spiritual star. We become star-like, the golden race. The crystalline frequencies flow like liquid light through our systems, both internal and external, creating a new experience and form. Heart-centered living allows us to integrate and be at peace with these changes, and be conduits of calm as energies grow more intense for the collective. Death of the old self, old structures, being in a body during planetary, galactic, and universal realm shift, dimensional shift from one state of being to another is a divine experience. Challenging, of course, however, the front row seat as an awakened and ascending being is worth the effort. All of us are being prepared for an intensity of light, revelation, and rapid change in 2023. One of the themes for next year that is already presenting is death. You may have noticed small groups of people departing lately. Physical deaths are anticipated, however, the death of our past self is quite evident. Distorted, egoic, mental and emotional structures collapse. Their transformation to supportive new systems takes time. The surreal in-between can be celebrated or made into an issue, depending on your personal choice. Death is simply transformation. Best advice, witness and feel the release of the old self. Meditate with your crystalline heart on the truest highest trajectory for your new journey as a divine presence in these realms. Tools for this passage. Meditation, meditation, meditation. Feel and witness what is happening in zero-point stillness. Fast. A day or three of water-only fasting can reset your DNA and allow the body to recalibrate. Use your discernment and investigate proper procedure if this is new to you detox to shed the old. Become the presence, making highest choices moment to moment. Movement to get the meridians flowing, the new frequencies, earthing, yoga, walking in nature, dance. Get good sleep, rest and more rest. Much is happening in our sleep. Hydration, magnetic shifts and solar activity cause dehydration. Water, Plasma is an interstellar delivery system for light codes. Drink plenty of water, get into natural bodies of water, or snow piles when available. Sun gaze safely, or walk in the morning light to receive the new crystalline light intelligence flowing in the sunrise codes. Sunset is a weaker version, you'll notice the difference. Solaris the sun will let you know when the light is too intense for gazing or sunbathing, charging, feel it. Open your heart, gratitude, love, divine neutrality, forgiveness and compassion keep us on the higher trajectory. We are coming up on a very sacred solstice. Oh, these flying time constructs. The December through January optimum spiritual transformation passage is near. The veils are down and possibilities open up. Focus on your chosen reality outcome right now and the energy will assist you in that creation. As always, we utilize the energies in this now rather than waiting for them to change us. Mastery, maintain the cosmic perspective. Stay close to your source self during this passage. Meditate, pray, and hold ceremony on the land. Keep your heart scale feather light. Express the emerging divine self in thought, feeling, word, action, and creation. Let us show humanity what is possible with ascension. And love, light, and service from SandraWalter.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica 
galactic communication. Feel us like a presence in your mind, the opening of a cosmic light connection, a subtle but gentle invitation to enter our stream of light. It will begin gently, a harmonic light signal, and will continue to expand to a cosmic light path. To reach a higher light dimensional viewpoint of your reality, the true light path. As the days continue, as your world transponds to greater light awareness, simply find us to reach a greater space of cosmic light infinity. In every step we vibrationally observe and feel the ebbs and flows of your world, for it is just a dream amongst many dreams. When you awaken you will see the grand picture, universal light, in harmony, like a wave of light, the Arcturians come through in a high vibrational spectrum of light, a light wave to transverse light as the light journey continues, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen, from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mercury and Scorpio, Quincunt's Mars Retrograde in Gemini. Venus in Scorpio, sextile Pluto in Capricorn. Mercury's connection to Mars feels awkward. Mentally we're wandering deep territory, awash with powerful emotions that override rationale. Somehow we know the truth, but Mars in fact-finding Gemini wants to know why, why, why. For some this aspect may be played out with others, with one person content to ponder the mysteries of life whilst the other pokes and prods with questions. In all cases, it's important that we don't rush to make a decision or have a conversation. Maybe nothing needs to be done or said right now. Venus and Pluto provide a helping hand. This is Inanna entering the underworld, removing layer after layer of outer world trappings of status and wealth. In this place, her wealth is herself. When all else falls away, there is only love, the greatest treasure of all. Open your heart, reveal yourself, rediscover your true passion to catalyze change. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 179, Blue Planetary Storm. Planetary is the name for the number 10, and its keywords are perfect, manifest, and produce. It's day 10 of the white dog wave spell, and this is the perfect storm. No running or hiding from this powerful energy, you will be blown away. The number 10 represents manifesting, and the storm symbolizes changes, and so they go together really well. In fact, they are perfect. Think about what you set out to achieve on day 1. Today is the day when you really can manifest results. Tomorrow is the 11th day when we release and the wave spell energy begins to dissipate. So if you don't make it happen today, the ship is going to set sail and you'll miss an opportunity. Remember the dog wave spell is about love and heart and tenacity. Use this tenacity today to succeed in your mission. Today is blue storm which represents self-generation, catalyst, and energy. If you are brave and ride this perfect storm and can harness its energy, you can achieve incredible life-changing things. Most folks can't cope with the disruption and the craziness, and if you are one of these people, all you can do is seek shelter and find comfort in knowing it will all blow away by tomorrow. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Planetary Storm, 10 Kauak, Keen 179, 13th of November, 2022. Manifesting Global Transformation 1311 2022 equal 426 equal 48 equal 12 equal 3. Day codes 13 Goddess Cosmos Mysteries Natural Lore 4 Form Structure Foundation Earth Angelic 12 Spiritual Wisdom Strength 3 Holy Trinity Joy Creativity Month Year Codes 11 Portal Gate Polarity Illumination. Two twins, partners, cooperation, alliances. Six, heaven, Christ, family, romance, fertility. Eight, infinite, abundant, source, flow. Twenty, the awakening, clear vision. 
22, architect of peace, master builder. Keen 179 equal 8, abundance, infinity flow, in breath, out breath. 888, infinite flow. Another very significant day where we are manifesting magical planetary transformation through purification leading to greater love on our planet. Today's planetary storm is another pivotal day for our planetary evolution. Tremendous transformative power is being catalyzed to accelerate our collective manifestation of bliss on earth through harmony, peace, and unification. Day 10 in the white dog wave spell of unconditional love, loyalty, devotion, service, friendship, and faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from source love in order to be love. Today we have very active energies. Huge transformation is being catalyzed through this opportunity today. This energy provides for an action-packed manifestation. We are catalyzing great change in our physical world in order to perfect the production of unconditional love. Tone of creation, planetary tone 10 in the physical realm. Action produces power perfects essence manifestation. The tenth stage of the wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible and more. It is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality and our lives begin to reflect the deep soul longings that we desire. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with our beloveds today. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness and joy both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Nova Gaia. A powerful day to get physical using divine alchemy to manifest from the ethers into matter. Purge every last remnant of any toxins you have been holding in your body, mind, or life. Allow the flow and purification of your physical space, manifesting greater flow in your life. Open your heart more fully to allow the love of the goddess to flow through your being and your hands today. Open and activate the flow of unlimited healing and accomplishment in your life today on this super cosmic flow day. The planetary goddess will redirect our planetary flow today, ensuring we are on a loving path of unification and harmony. And so it is. Kadoish, 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 Adonai, Sebaoth, Amun. Today holds the incredible codes for purification, transformation, and planetary evolution. So let us pray and hold the intention that Gaia fully catalyzes these cleansing energies to restore her pristine life-sustaining and enhancing blueprint. Trust in the power of the Great Spirit today and the winds of great change to catalyze the tremendous peaceful changes that our planet needs. Alleluia! It is done. Today's question is, how can I harness the power of the storm to catalyze great transformation and manifest healing in my world? Divine blessings for unleashing a great deluge of positive, life-enhancing transformation. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 179, Blue Planetary Storm. The mantra, the code for today is, I perfect in order to catalyze, producing energy. I seal the matrix of self-generation with the planetary tone of manifestation. I am guided by the power of accomplishment. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. 
So if you'd like to help support our work mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Sheila Sempek, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support. I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Ruby Lopez, for an extra donation today. Thank you very much, beloved sister. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so thank you very much. We're very grateful for you all. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal account and Stripe account, both links at eaglelovecondor.com. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now, we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful code from Divine Brother of the Light, Lee Parare. Genie, higher self, online, full of light, create, destroy, Angel, demon, shadow, self, three-eye alchemy, orgasmic mind, manifest form, aura gold, metaphysics, illumination, project, genie, eternal child, self-knowing, love ethics, alchemical tech, zodiac sun, DNA, kingdom crown, living genome, transmutation, power, three, two, spirit, matter, Consciousness, Ram, Knowledge, Ancestor, Memory, Kingdom, Heaven, Body, DNA, Sex, REM, Sleep, Dream, Comfortably Numb, Underworld, Dome, Pull, Sword, Stone, King, Arthur, Crown, Saturn, On, Throne, Ruling, Authority, Genie, Domain, Sovereignty, First, Light, OS, Orion, Womb, Feminine, Rising, Birthing Portal, Golden Child, Hermes, Caduceus, Bliss Wave, Implode, Lucid Dream, Portal, Transcendence, Black Cube, Chessboard, Logos, Words, Symbols, Control, Signals, Tones, Mercury, Jupiter, Age, Gregorian, War, Lords, Destroying Elements, Perverted, Chi, Ro, Altering Genome, Land, Water, Sky, Rainbow, Flag, Upside Down, Dethroned, VX, Fractured Soul, Hive Mind Machine, Grand Celestial Cross, New Heaven, New Earth, Equinox, Solstice, Rituals, 911, Fire, Air, Twin Towers, 311, Water, Land, Fukushima, Two to Come on Great Milky Way, 611, 1211, setting stones, out to get her, feminine womb, crypto transhuman golden cage. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed week ahead as we journey through this sacred portal into the 1122 and then the new moon coming up on the 23rd and then Thanksgiving the 24th. As we continue our journey through this powerful month of November and into the transformative month of December. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.